Welcome to Ask the Boss. As you can see, I've been joined by Cov Boss Andy Thorne. How are you, sir? Yeah, good, thank you. Right, do you know how this works? No, but you're going to tell me. I shall tell you. Uh, people have been tweeting in, uh -huh. and I've selected the best questions, and I will now go through them with you. Uh, it goes all over the shop, this place. Management, your career, uh, boxing, darts, the lot. Right. You ready to go? Yep, let's go. First one comes from Henry Robson. Andy, goal line technology, who needs it? <laughs> Well, at the moment we do because everything that um, could go against us has been. But I'm not sure, you know, because you know some of the decisions, yeah. But they're pretty straightforward. The decisions they're just not getting right, you know. And that, sometimes, yeah, you, know, you think afterwards, uh, if you did have it, what's everyone going to talk about in the pubs in the evening? Yeah, and after I'm, the game. Well, there is that, yeah. Uh, at the moment, we could have done with it in the last few games because we've had a lot of. Uh, a lot of incidents which, you know, we would have, like, cleared up, but I suppose when they're going against you, you always do, don't you? Let's just change tacks a bit here. Mm -hmm. This is uh, from Hamish Hughes, who says, Andy, if you were a darts player or a boxer, what would your walk-on song be? Ha-ha! <laughs> uh, I don't know, really. I don't, not, um... You're not a music man? Not really, no. Are you a no. darts or a boxing fan? I, wa I watch the darts and watch the... Uh, Jeez! Uh, yeah. I, I do, I watch them, but I wouldn't know. He's only said that because I look like a dark <laughs> Charlie Harris asks, how do the pressures of being a manager compare with those in your playing days? Um, a lot tougher. A lot tougher. Mm. I mean, you, you, I, I feel responsible for absolutely everything that, that goes on when we're on the pitch. It doesn't matter whether a decision goes against us or, you know, one of the boys might make a mistake. It, you know, you take the full responsibility for everything. And I, I don't mind that. That's, that's, I think that's the way it should be because you don't want the boys playing under pressure. But, you know, emotions and the way you feel and the way you prepare, totally different. It's, uh, it takes over your life. It does take over your life. Do you enjoy the 90 minutes? Uh, yeah, I enjoy no, it. You're not sure, are you? <laughs> I enjoy it. I used to enjoy it a lot more. I enjoyed it a lot more last season. Yeah, when we yeah. <laughs> but you know, things have been difficult. But it's been important that we remain positive and we kept buzzing. And um, you're more more on edge, more on edge because there's obviously a lot more at stake. But you know, we've been in the bottom three for about eight months now, and uh, we've had to respond all the time. We've got a young group of players that are really, really trying and really having a go, you know, and, you know, and, and another season we'd have been tailed off by now. Yeah. But, as I said, we, we, we've had some really tough away games and we've kept in there and we've kept going and give ourselves a chance. Um, but you feel, you feel every minute of it, you know, and the relief at the end of it, especially if you get a result, is uh, incredible. Never switch off, there. No, no, I mean, I just... I, I go home and I don't know whether this is a good thing, it might be a good thing, but you don't hear what the missus says. You know? <laughs> <laughs> can talk me about an hour and I know the thing. Brilliant. I don't just think that's in football management that that happens. <laughs> if my wife's watching, hello darling. 